Was it gonna be like skulls or something? Way worse, way worse. Welcome back, super friends and super family. I am Thor, your friendly neighborhood god of thunder. Today I'm reacting to the second Indiana Jones movie, The Temple of Doom. So just uh, reacted to Raiders of the Lost Ark with my friend Jesse. Uh, she had never seen that one before. Uh, she's not going to be able to join me for the second and third one, just scheduling, stuff like that. But I figured I would check it out since I've never seen this one or the third movie. Now, I have heard from a few different people that this is generally considered the weakest in the Indiana Jones trilogy. I mean, I guess there's the fourth movie, which is really what people consider the weakest of them. I've seen the fourth movie. I remember enjoying it at the time. I watched it when I was a lot younger. So I don't know. I, I really kind of want to give this movie its fair chance. I know that Steven Spielberg directed this one as well. I think, in fact, he directed all four of them. Pretty sure he directed the third one as well. I hope so. But you know, like, it's it's interesting to see. It would be one thing if it was a different director and it just seemed like a cash grab by the studio, but I'm hoping that this movie justifies its existence and at least isn't disrespectful to the character of Indiana Jones. And to be fair, I might like it more than the original or the third one. I, I really want to give this a fair chance. But as always, if you want to watch the full unedited reaction to this, uh, all my movies are all up on Patreon, and I will be watching the third Indiana Jones film. I believe it's called The Last Crusade, and I know that it has Sean Connery, so I'm very excited about that one. But that's going to be out right now on Patreon for early access. If you want to check that out now, if not, uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It'll be out next week. But for now, let's get into today's reaction, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. <laughs> That's great. Just like the first one, a fun, kind of cute, clever transition with the Paramount Mountain. Okay, it is. 100% Spielberg. Let's go. Is that red smoke? I know these are dancers, but is that, you know, a premonition of the Temple of Doom, perhaps? Am I reading too much into this? All right, right into the title card. I'll throw in a little wink here. These type of like dance numbers remind me so much of old Hollywood, reminiscent of things from Hail Caesar. I think they're similar. Nice transition again. I mean, good choreography. They're putting on a good show. Dang, all of them can do the splits? They're not messing around here. I like how the grand finale was like a close up on her. Walking the opposite direction with a white coat, too. Talk about stylish, man. That's got to be our man, right? Yep. Dang, he's looking sharp, man. Indiana's looking sharp. Only on special occasions. <laughs> a man full of surprises. This is Willie Scott. This is Indiana Jones. This is going to be love at first sight. I know that the girl in this one is also different from Miriam. I heard people were upset about that. Say, who is this? Holy, what? He's threatening the girl? I'm surprised, Indy. <laughs> Referencing the song? That's pretty clever. Those things spin around for, like, the appetizers, right? I haven't been to fancy restaurants, clearly. Oop, send it back. He's trying to go cheap on him with a few gold coins. Bro, come on. Is it going to be the diamond? Oh, he sends it with a drink, too. Don't trust it. <laughs> She's not even, like, concerned that she was just being threatened a second ago. The diamond is just too pretty. She's concerned about the dress. Okay, I kind of like her. Is that poison? Is he drinking poison? Indy, what are you doing, bro? That's a really good comeback. <laughs> the poison you just Dude, I told you, man. It was too... Of it was so obvious. Why would they send the drink over the second time? Did he actually drink it? Or did he pull like a princess bride? He's really giving it back. 
<laughs> She's like, again. Oh, wow. Waiter to the rescue. <laughs> well, obviously, lady. Grab it, Indy. Just grab it. Oh, what? Grab the gun! Grab his gun, Indy! Oh. Not this time, Indy. He's seriously dying in the opening scene? I mean, he's very optimistic in his final moments. Dude, he's gonna get vengeance for killing his friend. This is a pretty dark opening. <laughs> oh, you loser. Oh, that's a weapon. Nice throw. Honestly, this will make for a great story for anyone who went out to dinner tonight, as long as you survive. She's just fixated on the diamond. This lady, man. Don't break that antidote. Why'd he punch that lady? <laughs> Jeez, what is happening? She, the girl's gonna get the diamond, isn't she? She's so clearly obsessed with it. Little Wilhelm action. <laughs> this is both intense and funny. Oh shoot. <laughs> They're both crawling after different things. Okay, dancers, did you not hear any of the gunshots? Do you think all of it was champagne? Dude, you gotta get out of here with the antidote ASAP. I'm surprised no one stepped on it. Jeez. <laughs> Nice throw. Wow. Wow, this reminds me of the first one when he's trying to find the baskets. Stay there! She's going to trade it for the diamond or something. I mean, it is just one type of chaos after... Oh my gosh. Speaking of more chaos. Take cover. He's a horrible shot. Nice. That's, really, that's pretty smart, Indy. I mean, they're lucky. Are they gonna land perfectly on a car? Wow, holy <laughs> you could say that again. I hope he could drive. I hope he can drive. <laughs> club Obi Wan? Kenobi? We got a Star Wars club? I wanna go back in there, see if there's some Star Wars decor. He's after the antidote, trust me. The boy. <laughs> She's not happy that he kidnapped her. Guys, get out of the way! Get out of the way! A kid is driving and he's desperate! Okay, kid. <laughs> Don't pull a Pulp Fiction and shoot somebody, lady. Another getaway on the plane, just like the first one. I mean, talk about an energetic, hilarious, and pretty cool with the set pieces opening action scene. But there might be a slight inconvenience as you will be riding on a cargo full of live Oh, nice. Well, at least they have company. Best I could do with such short notice. Heaven. Why is she still going with him? Oh, yeah, Jid. You owe him more than a Jid. This is a huge favor. But that is pretty cool. Nice. Wait, he's stealing his plane, too? Does he have it rigged up with explosives or something? Oh, no, no, no. The pilots are on his side, right? I'm assuming. The iconic theme music. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I'm digging this movie so far. That was a strong opening. There we go. That's the outfit I'm used to seeing him in. It was kind of cool, though, seeing him all dressed up and, like, playing that part as well. Almost like a little James Bond energy. Jeez. <laughs> They're definitely going to do a lot of fighting before any kissing. I'm assuming she's the love interest. Oh, yeah? <laughs> He's not having anything to do with her. I feel like that 
pose sums up a lot about Harrison Ford's personality. I feel like like that traveling shot with the map, I feel like they do a similar stylistic thing with Kill Bill, and I wonder if Quentin Tarantino got it from here. I mean, why wouldn't they just not take off and have the guys kill him? I know this is a way cooler way to do it, but... They don't hear the door opening? The change in pressure? Nothing? Okay, tell me she realizes what's going on. <laughs> Wake up, Indy! Wake up, Indy! She's so casual. She's just like, oh no, you know, my car got a flat tire. Oh no. <laughs> the kids, like, respect him. <laughs> that smile was great. Do they have more parachutes? Probably not, right? I think we got a big problem. Yes. Of course. I mean, what do you do? Do you just brace for the crash? I mean, how could you survive this? Are they jumping out? Okay. How do you... <laughs> I guess we're going to suspend a little disbelief here. <laughs> it is Indiana Jones. I don't want to take it too seriously. <laughs> that looks like a Star Wars explosion, like an Empire Strikes Back explosion for some reason. Maybe because of the snow, it looks like Hoth. Honestly, this part looks insanely fun. Don't say it too soon. <gasps> okay. Do they have nine lives like Catwoman? <laughs> Honestly, they should incorporate like a, a Wild Rapids Indiana Jones ride at Disneyland, not just the other one they have. Okay, can they relax now or is there going to be like alligators or something? Okay, I think we're safe. I love this shot, like following the boat and we just see the feet of someone. You don't know if they're friend or foe. Cool way to reveal it. <laughs> That's kind of a scary, like, dead stare. I mean, can anyone rock that hat better than Harrison Ford? I don't think so. What's been happening here? Are people, like, burning people's homes or something? Is this kid going to go along the whole adventure with them? What is that? I can't eat this. You might not have a choice. That might be the only food they have. I'm not hungry. You will be later. Eat it. Eat it. <laughs> the kid doesn't want there to be a scene between them. Oh, what is it? <gasps> he smiles. He's so happy. Sajno will guide you. Can these people be trusted? I mean, they seem nice. What evil? It is bad news, that's for sure. But I feel like he's going to help them out. <laughs> that laugh is a little bit scary. We pray to Shiva to help us find the stone. Come on, help them out, Indy. They need your help. It's the call of adventure. He's imitating everything that he does. That's pretty funny. No, Shorty, it's just a ghost story. Don't worry about it. I do think it's a ghost story, but I would worry about it. Come on, we saw the first one with the Ark of the Covenant. Stone very smooth like a rock from a sacred river. Yes. With three lines across. Representing the three levels of the That's universe. That's right. Yes. I've seen stones like the one you lost. It's actually a clever way to get the exposition to describe the stone to the audience, too. Then one night there was a fire in the fields. Yeah, come on, this thing definitely has supernatural powers. Talk about, like, biblical suffering. He says they stole their children. Jeez. No wonder the people are so, like, fearful and upset. They better protect the little kid with them. Shorty, is that his actual, or Indy's nickname for him, right? Shorty? Oh shoot, is he dying? Sounds like he has asthma or something. Oh, is he really gonna die? 
I mean, there's your motivation. Come on, come on. Well, we've got Shankara. some type of clue here. <laughs> He's riding an elephant now? Oh, how is she going to deal with this? Why can't you get her another pair of shoes? <laughs> oh my gosh, wow. I do think she's trying her best. <laughs> the people can't believe it. They're like, these are our saviors. <laughs> Look at her. Her agent. Oh my gosh. Don't do it. What do you think? It's an elephant. <laughs> She needs to, like, use her perfume on the elephant or something. Is she actually going to? Wow. Are you kidding? <laughs> I was just joking, lady. Don't listen to what I say. Those are not birds. Giant vampire vampire bats. bats. I thought it was just Batmans, you know, they're going towards the bat cave or something. Why are they flying in the daylight, though? Don't bats normally fly at night? You really need a bat. <laughs> Wow, that's, I mean, I don't blame the elephant, really. <laughs> I feel bad for her, though. <laughs> that's an awesome shot. <laughs> oh my gosh. How is Indy gonna fall in love with her? I just don't see it. Maybe not, maybe she's not a love interest, it's just gonna be comedic relief. Holy... <laughs> Is the <laughs> he just they just sit there instead of running to help. Okay, how long is she gonna keep screaming? Is this you know King Kong or something? No fun. <laughs> you, no fun. I do like Shorty, man. The entire place is crawling with living things. Well, yes. The jungle, sweetheart. Exactly. <gasps> <laughs> oh, that's cool. He's nice to him. Yeah. That elephant is not going to let her off the hook. I told him to go forth and combat. <laughs> She's literally getting bullied by an elephant. <laughs> Magical properties. That's a well-trained elephant, too. Dr. Jones, I'd be safe for sleep. Oh my gosh. Wow. The universe heard you. I said, cut it out. <laughs> She's lucky she didn't get bit. She still thinks it's an elephant? Okay. <laughs> he really has such a strong phobia for snakes. What do you call that? What's the phobia for fear of snakes? Indiana phobia or something? Jones phobia? It should be named after him. It looks like these sequences are all shot on location, which is pretty cool. And I think those are the actors riding the elephants themselves, too. That is pretty scary looking. It's an intense close-up. Don't come up here. Listen to him. Spielberg does such a good job like building the suspense, right? But then I cannot imagine where in the world the three of you would look at This guy has gotta be a bad guy, right? Welcome to Pancourt Palace. Maybe he's a good guy, I don't know. That's beautiful. That's really beautiful. Oh, look at her. Okay. Big outfit change. You look like a princess. I mean, she does. She does look like a princess. What do they call the Maharaja's wife? His Highness has not yet taken a wife. How interesting. Oh, she has. She has a potential here. Darling, sing. It's a kid. <laughs> oh, I hope he and Shorty are friends. <laughs> I didn't expect that. I was I was thinking maybe the leader would be the big bad of the movie or something. That's the Maharaj. <laughs> oh, good. She's gonna. She's so let down. You gotta wait a long time. Maybe he likes older. <laughs> Shorty. Oh, he's so bored with his guests. Correctly, this area. Is she trying to steal that earring? The buggy. Is that a real snake? They're eating snakes. Sneak. Surprise. How is Indy gonna react? Oh, what? What is that? 
Oh. Village stories, Dr. Jones. They're just fear and folklore. Absolutely not. There's going to be some truth to them. Those giant beetles? I mean, I love trying different types of food, but I feel like I'd be a little bit like Willie eating this. <laughs> oh, come on. As if he can't tell that a foreigner would be surprised by this. Give me your hat. I mean, anyone who's tried foods like this, please let me know if it tastes good. I'd be very curious. In our country, it's not usual for a guest to insult his host. Ooh, ooh. Sorry with the smile. Excuse me, sir. Uh, do you have anything simple? <laughs> <laughs> or a peanut butter sandwich. You see, Captain? A rock. Come on, he's 100% gotta be a villain. Look at the way he's, like, staring back and forth with Indy. Oh my gosh. That can't be a real dish. Soup with eyeballs? That has to be for comedic effect, right? I'm ashamed of what happened here so many years ago. And I assure you, it happen again in my kingdom. Well, that's good. Is that guy going to try to kill the kid? Take over the throne or something? Oh, what's it going to be? Come on, they have to be doing this on purpose. Chilled a monkey brain. Monkey brains. <laughs> no attempt to even catch her. <laughs> uh, I think I'll just check on Willie. Yeah, she's ordering Uber Eats as we speak. Tell me later what happened. Am screwed. <laughs> oh, shorty. Wow. Oh, she knew he was coming. There's nothing you have that I could possibly want. Watch, like two scenes later, they're going to be kissing. <laughs> he still holds it oh look at that okay that's pretty nice that is pretty nice of indy maybe you could be my palace slave oh come on come on that's the way you thank him wear your jewels to bed princess yeah and nothing else ah okay nothing shocks me we got some full-on flirting going on now all it took was some fruit. <laughs> and what sort of research would you do on me? Strictly professional. Nocturnal activities. Oh, good response. Good response. Dang, it happened faster than I expected. I thought it was going to be more like the whole first two acts of the movie. They're fighting until the end or something. It can be hard to handle. I've had worse. But she'll never have. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> He's not impressed. I'm not that easy either. Oh, God. <laughs> You'll be back over here in five minutes. I'll be asleep in five minutes. <laughs> I know it. It's going to cut to him sleeping, right? What's going to happen? What's going to happen? <laughs> Are they both going to fall asleep? Fall asleep. <laughs> Nocturnal activity. <laughs> I love how they're mirroring each other almost exactly. Oh no! I'm not going. <laughs> okay, she better come and like save him or something. Indiana Jones! Just go in there! Go in there! <laughs> this is the night I slipped right through you! Go in there! Oh my gosh. She's so mad. Go in this room. I could have been your great adventure. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna have to save himself. Let's go, let's go. Nice. Shorty is cool. I like him a lot. Yeah, you're not getting away. Holy, that is a strong ceiling fan. Is that even possible? Did he die? She has no idea what just happened. Come on. A little, like, awareness. Hey, I'm right here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Don't touch anything. Follow his instructions very closely. Indy! Come on, put on some shoes, get some clothes, and go after him. You don't want to be left here alone with assassins walking around. Yeah. Something on the ground. It's not. 
fortune cookies for sure. Let me take a look. Was it gonna be like skulls or something? Way worse, way worse. Oh. Oh my, that's huge! Yeah, no, I turn around and run. Oh. This is child endangerment, Indy. <laughs> Don't tell me they're gonna need Willy to rescue them. Don't tell me it's up to her, please. Oh, what now? We need to get flattened. That'll be the least of your concerns, trust me. Oh, yeah. Okay. You can say that again. What do you mean, what's the rush, lady? Don't look, don't look, don't look. Okay, this is just too much. Oh, yeah. I mean, that is very nasty. Oh, what's gonna be in there? It's gonna be a mass. It better not be a spider. Oh, it's just a person. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's just more of those bugs. Come well, on, people are gonna die if you don't, Willie. I know it's gross, but it's more than fear factor here. <laughs> just go for it. Just push through and do it. Oh, that is really gross. Go, go, go! Come on! I mean, at least she got it done. Oh my gosh, are you serious? No, this can't be real. This can't be real. Get the hat! Wow, I was about to say, if they literally got locked in there again. <laughs> Dang. That's a lot of people. This reminds me almost a little bit of Wizard of Oz. Yeah, I'm guessing not a friendly god. Dang, widespread corruption. Oh, this better not be a human sacrifice. I love the way his face is all lit up with the red light. No, 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 no. Don't you do Oh, please. Oh, oh, that's disgusting. Shush! Wait, what? He's still alive without his heart? Did I see that correctly? Okay, I guess I did. I mean, that confirms the supernatural powers of this god, right? Was he gonna die multiple times? It's like once isn't bad enough. Can't they try to rescue him? This poor dude! <laughs> Is he literally being dropped into hell? Come on, try to save him, no? They're just watching, really? I mean, I know they're incredibly outnumbered, but... Well, I'm sorry, dude. Hopefully this is the last death, they don't have to kill him more. Dang, the heart light's on fire, too. Not a great way to go. What now? How can this ceremony get any more worse? Okay. Don't know exactly what that means. I do like this set a lot. It's very cool. Why does it glow like that? Shh. Yeah, be quiet, everybody. I'm surprised I didn't hear Willie's scream from earlier. Dana? <laughs> uh, all you need is the proper motivation for Willie, and by that I mean some type of wealth. You can get killed chasing after your damn fortune and glory. Maybe. But not today. Oh, look at that. Smooth as ever. I'm surprised, like, how much she actually does seem to care about him, considering how little they get along. There's no way the security is going to be this bad that he can just walk up and take it. Nice. That whip is, like, has some elven rope in it, right? Be careful, man. Exactly, Jinx. That's an awesome shot. I can't believe he's just getting away with taking them, though. <laughs> Is it coming alive? 
Okay, that's terrifying. Where is that coming from? Where is he going? Oh my gosh. Are they torturing children? Don't you dare. Yeah, you don't get much more evil than like child labor, child torture, and human sacrifice. In case anyone, there's any gray area who the bad guys were. Jeez, like you know how painful that is? Especially for a kid. You're a little bit outnumbered. Oh, wow. Are they gonna need Willie to rescue them again? <laughs> oh wow. I pray to Shiva. Let me die. But I do not. That's so sad. We'll be alive, but like a nightmare. What do you turn into zombies? Don't let that happen to Shorty. They're innocent children. They dig for the gems to support our cause. They're forced to do it, dude. Don't even try to justify. What a vivid imagination. <laughs> I love the contempt in his voice. <laughs> I actually think he is telling the truth, that the stones are that powerful. Are they going to make him drink the blood? He's going to turn into a zombie. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Shorty, you are so useful, man. What a brave kid. They're going to... This is so brutal. We're getting full-on torture scenes. Oh, wow. On Shorty 2? Okay, someone help them. I would say Willie, but I don't know if she can pull it off. But if she does, that would be a very redeeming moment for her. Well, he's ambitious. <laughs> Did he swallow it for real? No. We can't have indie zombie mode, right? Or maybe we can. It's like the worst night terror convulsion possible. He's not himself, is he? There, there has to be an antidote. This story is not going the direction I would have expected, I'll just say that. Oh, come on. You guys all deserve to die. All of you. Don't you dare hurt Shorty. Look at, look at this kid being resourceful. How many black mass rituals do they have? Like one every day? Oh, okay. Well, so much for Willa, Willy <laughs> rescuing them. I mean, props to Willie for not talking. I'm not gonna have anything nice to say about this place when I get back. <laughs> okay. I'm what? Like, keep looking at him to see if there's a chance he's faking, but I don't see how because it looked so like, it looked to me like he swallowed the blood. I mean, something's got to happen quick unless they're actually gonna kill Willie. Are they gonna make him do it? He's gonna tear her heart out. How metaphorical. <laughs> It's gonna be Shorty. Shorty's gonna become the MVP of the movie. He's gonna be the one who rescues everyone. You're not one of them. Watch, she's gonna kiss him and it's gonna like bring him back or something. You're not one she's of got them. like a Trinity power from the Matrix. Careful, Shorty. Are you mad? I mean, he's possessed essentially. He's like, how dare you spit at me? I'm gonna pull your heart out in response. I mean, he's looking seriously evil. I like how the camera's like lower so we like see it almost from Shorty's perspective. He's gonna lead a revolt with all the kids. What a hero. Indy needs to give Shorty like a gigantic bonus after this adventure. This kid's got moves. Forget Shia LaBeouf, he should be the next Indiana Jones. Oh, hopefully that denial is comforting. <laughs> He's got to do something that like, oh, wow. Oh, he's crying. Nice. Indy, I love you. Oh. Is that enough to snap him out of it? What, just the pain of it? What happened exactly? Okay, they're really going to fall for that. These guards are pretty terrible. Shorty deserves so much credit. If it weren't for him, they'd all be dead. 
<laughs> they're just cheering. They're like, finally, an exciting religious ceremony. <laughs> yeah, go where you deserve. You too. Throw them all down there. Like an escape door. Yeah, with that heat and that smoke, like... Good luck, Willy. Oh, here we go. Shorty, come on, Shorty. Oh, <laughs> right back down. <laughs> That's one way to stop it. He's helping Indy every step of the way. I'm surprised that metal isn't, like, burning hot. I mean, can you imagine how terrifying that must have been to be in Willie's situation? <laughs> she slaps him. <laughs> I, I Name a better movie assistant than uh, Shorty, honestly. Yeah, give him a hug. He deserves a hug. Their friendship to me feels so much more real than the romance with Indy and Willie. <laughs> All these bullies who've been like whipping the kids and see how they deal when they actually face a real adult who can fight. Yeah, not so well. <laughs> he slides back. <laughs> I like that. There you go. There you go. Yeah, they're all outnumbered, honestly. I have no pity for these slave masters, like... Okay, come on, help him out, everybody! Yeah, trash everything, honestly. He clearly it needs some help! I don't get it, Willy, this is just bad strategy. Now? Finally? Like, how about you try to help? Uh, okay, now, look out. Dang, those are some good kicks to the face. This guy is seriously can take some hits. Oh. Willie, stop the kid! Okay, someone, they're gonna flatten this guy, right? Oh. They would have taken care of that dude right there, too. I mean, good thing the kid isn't just going for the kill and, like, stabbing the doll right in the head. Oh, wow, it's gotta be so painful. Nice. Don't flatten his hat. Reach. Oh, wow. <laughs> you could be helping, not just cheering on, but okay. <laughs> They're both doing the same thing. Oh, look out. Okay, here we go. Here it is. Bye-bye. Flat like a pancake. Nice. Oh, okay, okay. He was just possessed too. Okay. That's crazy that fire is like such an instant cure for the black sleep. He's like Shorty, it's if Shorty didn't just save his life, he's fooling around with the kid. Come on. Okay, well I'm actually glad the ruler was good, he was just under the possession. How I need a counter for how many times Sh Shorty literally saves everyone. Come on, we all know Indy's whip has a little, little of Captain America's shield with it, right? Same manufacturer. He just... Okay, did he just take out three grown men? <laughs> nice duck. Trust me, Shorty's okay. He could take care of himself. Nice. Come on. Perfect. Well done. Yeah, not towards the red, but I don't think they had any control over that, so... This also looks like it could be a fun addition to the Indiana Jones ride. I mean, they're on a literal, like, roller coaster in hell. <laughs> I feel like a lot of this has to be practical. Like, they're actually moving on these tracks, right? Whoa, that's a close call. That's smart. Okay. Where is this going to lead to, though? Oh, perfect. 
Nice. Goodbye. Oh, what? It stayed on the track? I thought that collision would have knocked it off its course. Oh, now they're across from each other. Get down. Oh, nice. Hold on to Shorty. You bastards, don't you dare. Oh, <laughs> celebrate a little too early. I thought he fell off, though, too. Nice. Nice. Okay, thank goodness Willie is stepping up a little bit. Wow, amazing precision with that landing. You gonna try to flood them out? Oh, yes, that is a big mistake. Shh. Come on! That was very gutsy, Indy. You want the stones? Let them go! Oh, smart, smart. Okay. <laughs> like how she's making faces at him. Drop them, Dr. Jones. They will be found. And what if they get eaten by crocodiles? Dang it, that bluff, I thought that was their way out. Was he gonna turn into the bride? Will that be enough to threaten them? They're so close to him, I don't know if he could cut the bridge quick enough before they got to him, too. I mean, they have to see what he's planning on doing. He's literally holding it above the bridge. <laughs> oh, Jeez, the whole thing just coming apart. And they're lucky they didn't hit that rock harder. Uh, oh, he knocks one of his men down. Oh, don't break down now. Come on. Come on, throw him down! Oh, what? Oh, that's so nasty. Come on, help him! Can't they throw something? Nice. Punch yourself, bro. Yeah, he gave up just trying to run away. What a jerk! <laughs> Was that necessary? I don't even think Darth Vader would pull a move like that to one of his employees. Oh, here we go. <laughs> They're pretty bad shots, too. Good, yeah, kick him. Oh, no! This guy just doesn't want to die. His own greed, his own greed. Oh, we're following him down? Wow. A fittingly gruesome end for that dude. If Legolas was a stormtrooper. Yes, it is about time. Yeah, I'm not even worried for the other soldiers given the accuracy those guys have. Beaten and battered, yet victorious and heroic. Our man Indy. With the prize possession too. Yeah, how many families got their children back? A ton. There were so many kids there. He really is like a savior to these people. We know you're coming back. They had faith in him the whole time. You think I'm going to Delhi with you or any place else after all the trouble you've got? Think again, Buster. I'm going up to Missouri where they never feed you. <laughs> or ripping your heart out. Oh. Is it the elephant? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look away, Shorty. That is a victorious shot for the ending kiss. All right, so that is Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. All right, so that movie was a lot of fun. Um, It definitely did some things that I did not expect. And I didn't really have any preset expectations. You know, I didn't really go into predictions before jumping into this movie. So I don't know exactly what I thought I was in for, but... I don't know, like this movie felt similar to the first one and they had that same sense of adventure and that blend of like some more serious parts, some more f some fun things and some ridiculous humor just sprinkled throughout. Like I think they kept that pretty consistent. I also think they went darker with this one. I think it was more violent and more intense. You know, some of the torture scenes, human sacrifice children as slaves. The, that was a surprise for me, um, but I kind of like it. I like that they mixed a few things up because I'm glad they didn't 
do exactly the same thing as the first one and we had a different you know different mystical powers different location different threats and interesting new visual things and some really cool set pieces in fact that the opening to the movie might be my favorite part of it. I just think that whole sequence, like seeing Indiana all dressed up, and at least to me, it reminded me much more of James Bond esque, but still being Indiana Jones too. But that whole sequence I thought was really well directed, just very colorful, a lot of different things happening, and tons of extras. But I think Spielberg handled that opening, and it was a nice way to kind of kickstart the movie. And it was also cool because unlike the first one, it wasn't a location like in the jungle or in some temple, you know, I, I was wondering like, oh, Temple of Doom. Like, no, it was in a more civilized location, you know, and then, of course, we end up going to the Temple of Doom. But that was really cool. And they did look they did do a good job of like building up almost some horror elements, which I think we saw tiny touches of in Raiders of the Lost Ark. But I think Spielberg leaned into that a little bit more. And I liked it. I enjoyed mixing things up tonally that way. Um, as far as the characters, the huge standout to me is Shorty. I mean, I had no idea he was in the Indiana. You know, I didn't think we were going to get a sidekick with Indiana Jones like that. And he was, I also didn't know how involved he was going to be in the movie. But not only was he majorly involved, but that kid, I don't know if he's training nonstop. Is he getting ready to do MMA? Is he getting ready to be a Jedi? Like, is he a young Jedi Padawan? He had some moves. And like I said, I'd be interested if anyone keeps track of how many times he saves the main characters the entire way i mean i feel like time and time again he was the hero i would almost say he was just as heroic as indiana jones except of course he's a child so just <laughs> props to shorty i also thought the actor did a good job too you know i, I kind of liked him right away i really liked the dynamic of him and indy and just little moments like them like playing cards in the jungle you know not a major focus of the plot but it really showed like a genuine friendship between Indy and this kid. And that was really cool. Willie, for the most part, I liked Willie. I think that she was clearly there for some comedic relief. Definitely, definitely a very different type of person than Miriam. But once again, I appreciate like Spielberg mixing things up a little bit. And I wonder if like the actress for Miriam didn't want to come back for the sequel, if it was an issue like that. But I, I, I like... For sure, I like the concept of kind of taking someone fish out of water like you're going to set, especially with like things like bugs and just some real gross out moments, seeing it through the lens of someone who is completely resistant and has no experience, you know, doing these type of adventure things, conquering their fears. It is humorous to see. There are a few times where it seemed like a little bit much where I was just... Uh, she She stepped it up a few times and did help them out, especially later on in the movie you know, kind of complaining the whole time. I wish maybe she had done it a little bit more or I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm the only one who feels that way. But yeah, had a lot of fun with that one. I wouldn't say I enjoyed it as much as the first one. I think the first one, the first one is so good. Like it's a, it's a classic, classic movie for a reason. It is very hard to beat. You know, it sets a very high standard, but I'm not disappointed in the sequel, if that makes sense. I thought that it seemed it was very fun. It was very fast paced. Like there was really barely any downtime. And I appreciated that. It just was kind of like nonstop adventure beginning to end, which is just very entertaining. And also, you know, a lot of personality going on with the character dynamics. But uh, but I hope everyone enjoyed this. Let me know, too. I would love to hear from people who disliked this movie as well as people who favor this movie over the first one. Like I know like kind of extreme contrasting opinions, but I'd just be interested for the explanations why, you know, why you disliked this movie. And not for people who maybe didn't like this as much as the first one, but if there's anyone who just this movie to them is just, nope, doesn't do it for them at all. I'd love to hear why. And then if anyone likes this one better than the first one, or maybe best of all the Indiana Jones movies, I'd love to hear the reasons why as well. But thank you to everyone for watching along. Uh, if you do enjoy these reactions, like I said, I try to do about one classic movie reaction every week. I will be reacting to the third one, so that one's coming out next week. Very, very excited to see Sean Connery in that. Uh, but thank you for watching along today. And as always, remember, be active, be mindful, and be a hero.